Hello church family, this is Pastor Jim and I just wanted to share a verse with you this morning. I'm here at Apex Park, one of the places that I like to walk sometimes in the morning and it's a chilly morning, but it's also beautiful out. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 14 says, And we urge you, brothers, admonish the idle, encourage the faint-hearted, help the weak, be patient with them all. One of the challenges uh, that we all face, and I face in particular, is being patient. And the word patient in the Greek in the New Testament is makrothumia or makrothumeo, which literally means long-hearted. And so uh, when, we, uh, when we show impatience, it means that our hearts are not in the right place. Our hearts are, are short, are short-circuiting, and we're not giving value to others, uh, recognizing them as more significant than ourselves. Usually when I get impatient, it's because there's something that I want or something that I uh, feel is necessary that I need um, that someone else or, or circumstances are not uh, meeting in my life. And so we're encouraged to be patient with everyone. And in Colossians chapter 1, uh, Paul prays that uh, the Christians would be strengthened with all power according to his glorious might for all endurance and patience with joy. And Alistair Begg writes in this devotional, he says, every one of us needs someone to pray that prayer on our behalf, as well as to pray it for ourselves. Every one of us ought to be doing the same for others because it's a prayer that God is eager to answer. And he says, only God's spirit can produce this kind of patience in our lives. And so um, that's my prayer today, is that God would produce the patience, the fruit of the spirit uh, in our lives, through his work in our lives, through Christ, um, and that as we show patience with others, that they would recognize um, Christ in us. So I hope that encourages you today, and think of those times when you might be tempted to be impatient and show uh, the love of Christ, show the patience of God, remember how patient God is with each one of us, and allow his spirit uh, to control your direction and your actions and behaviors uh, this week, today, and uh, the rest of this week. Thanks. I hope you're encouraged today. God bless.